All the foundation element feature are only available when Story Zero plan is active. That is, you can only insert foundation elements in Story Zero. Double click on Story Zero in the structure tree to switch the plan view to Street Zero. Effectively, we are now looking at the column and wall stump below the ground level. You would find it helpful to display column forces on the plan view. Go to Review tab, Visual Interrogation, Column Plan Display. Check Axial Loads. Check Bottom. Under Loading, check G, Q and First Load Combination, G plus Q Factored. Click OK and the axial loads will be shown on the plan view. Multiple select all the columns by holding down the control key. Right click, insert pad footing. Alternatively click on insert pad footing icon in the column tab that appears. The pad footing batch design dialog will be launched. Maximize the dialog. Before designing any foundation elements, let us review the foundation design settings. The general tab is for pad footing, strip footing and rafter mat foundation. Soil unit weight is used to calculate the surcharge weight on the foundation by multiplying with surcharge height. The surcharge height is automatically calculated by the program based on the top of the foundation level and the ground floor level. Ultimate soil strength factor is the factor used to multiply the allow stress of soil to become the ultimate soil stress. The reason is foundation design is based on factored load combination, not on factored or service combination. Soil vertical subgrade coefficient is the stiffness of the soil used specifically in finite element raft foundation analysis. Click select icon to expose typical limit values for different soil types. Click Cancel to close the dialog. Lean concrete thickness is used in foundation drawings. It does not affect the analysis or design of foundation elements. Strip footing cantilever length is the default extension for the edge of the column for strip footing. Default pad footing can be rectangular or square. Change it to square. The design settings such as minimum steel percentage, bar spacing are self-explanatory. Steel bar selection. Footing reinforcement, there are two choices, with BOB, bending of bars, and without. Select minimum main steel bar size and distribution bar sizes. Click OK to save and close the settings dialog. Selection. Click on any row to select it. Hold down Control key for multiple select. Select slash clear all and reverse selection icons can be useful as well. Design. Check Design will only check and not change the footing size and rebars. Check Design will check the adequacy of the footing and only redesign if it fails. Redesign All will redesign all the footings fresh with the current settings. Grouping. Columns can be grouped to yield a single footing design using the grouping options. Group Selected, Multiple select the column rows to be grouped. Hold down Control key and then choose this option. Ungroup will break up previously grouped columns. Hold down Control key and select the first two column labels. Click Group Selected. Select Option Redesign All, since this is the first time we insert the footing. Click Design All to begin batch design. All the footing's depth, size and rebars will be automatically designed. The design status will change from red crosses to green ticks. Design log shows key design checks and summary. Import from CSV. User-defined columns and column loads can imported from a CSV file. Ensure that column and forces are set up in the format given in the sample file provided. Export to report. Export this footing schedule to a standard report. Export to Excel. Export the same footing schedule to Excel. Detailed design report produce the pad footing detail design report. The exported reports will also be automatically saved and available for compilation in the design report manager. Design selected will launch the interactive pad footing design for the selected column row. Alternatively, 
double click on any of the column label in the list to launch it. Double click on the first row to launch the detail interactive pad footing. Geometry. Here, you can review or modify the footing depth and size. For example, change the footing size to 2.5 meters by 2.5 meters. Pad footing eccentricity. You can also enter X or Y eccentricity or click on the preset default icons. The design will be checked instantly and reported in the design table below. In the right hand pane, the diagram of the footing is shown. The actual soil pressure at the edge of the footing is also shown. Green figures means it's pass, while red figure means it is failure. Click 3D tab. The 3D presentation of the footing with rebars will is shown. You can right-click drag to rotate and zoom in by scrolling the mouse wheel. Click back on the 2D view. Analysis. Material. Review or change concrete grade. Rebars grade and diameter. Soil properties. Review or modify ultimate soil stress. Unit weight of soil and fill height. Options. Specify general parameters of design and detailing, such as minimum spacing of bars, lean concrete thickness, increment steps for footing depth, size and rebar spacing. Column loads. Combination and loads are listed. There are three choices of loads. All combination is the default. This means the same combinations used in column design will be used. Envelope. Means only combination with the highest loads of all combination will be used. User defined. Combination and loads can be user defined by keying values in the table or imported from a CSV file. Select back all load combinations. Rebars shows all the design reinforcement bars. Bar sizes and spacing can be changed. The design summary dialog will auto refresh to show pass or fail status. Design If you want to redesign the footing, Select Design to automatically design footing depth, size and rebars. Generate report. Generate the detail pad footing design report. Review the report. Close the report. Pick Cancel to discard all changes and exit the individual pad footing design dialog. Pick OK to exit the batch footing design dialog. The pad footings will be inserted under the selected columns as shown. Go to Drawings and Reports tab. Pick Pad Base and Pile Cap Details. Pad Footing Drawing with Reinforcement View will be created for review. The DWG or DXF drawings must be generated in Proto Details.